first on the scene are the paratroops. Their mission, to capture a landing ground for the gliders. If all airborne troops are the spearhead of the army, parachutists are the very point of the spear. They of necessity are first on the scene. Some of the chutes in that descending cluster hold the containers in which are packed the weapons the men will fight with, the ammunition and the paratroops radio. Paratroops being defenseless between leaving the troop carrier and getting hold of their guns, they lose not a split second once they reach the ground in opening the containers. Each man, and most of them are specialists, knows in which container are the things he wants. He may have to defend himself the moment he is armed. Obviously, it can't always be arranged to land paratroops out of range of the enemy. So in quick time, out comes the equipment. Out comes the bread. Out come the rifles. Out come the mortars. Notice the business-like bayonet on the Sten gun. In its specially designed wrapping, the radio stands up to the jar without injury. Each man is mentally concentrating on the particular job assigned to him, his special part in the plan we saw outlined on the sand table. If the paratroops fail, the operation is doomed at the start. For that reason, they have to be tip-top men. And the campaigns in Sicily and on the mainland have taught us that the word failure is unknown in your paratroopers' vocabulary. The cutest gadget of all is the miniature motorbike. Funny to look at, but built for the job.